all right chat so we started a series i like to call the war crime series which talking about certain characters within fighting games that were deemed by the community as like either too strong or like really strong and definitely what a lot of people wanted to be nerfed so just going back in history sometimes or like looking at some modern games looking at some characters so we looked at my favorite fighting game character which a lot of people talked about was really strong al felt and we looked at my most disliked fighting game character which was nine but today i want to go back to another game that we all love on this channel classic melty i want to take a look at a character on here specifically we're going to be looking at roa now usually i will like pull up some clips and we'll talk about the character from there but someone has actually made a good review about the character talking about the previous versions of the character and actually going into the modern version of the character the last version of the character that came out and talking about the differences and how they became to be the roa that we know today so let's go ahead and take a look at this video together and uh, overall just have some final discussions about it because I haven't seen it, but I think it's going to be pretty interesting. First added in Melty Blood AA was intended to be a very versatile set play character. Roa can uniquely cancel specials. That's one of the favorite things I like about him is the ability to cancel specials in the specials. I think that's so sick. I actually started learning this character, by the way. I want to play this character. Oh, the lightning doesn't hit. Range is okay, but charge for plus frames not fast enough for poking so it's air unblockable still so okay oh no it has blind spots that sucks no not his dp bro oh his that sucks oh look at that Air or Sally, oh, they whipped on a lot of Crouchers? No, bro, that sucks. This is the first version of the character? Wait, why, wait. Why is White Lynn the tallest ca Oh, she doesn't crouch. That's her crouch? Bro, she looking like Dead Apostle Noel. <laughs> no, they don't turn around? Oh, this character look garbage. <laughs> 2-2-C is the bolt that's power charge, number of top displays. Yeah, right, the charges, yeah. Oh, he could hold it back then? So, which is a hold? Oh, it's untackable. Yeah, it's plus on block. But do that, you have no damage threat. Oh. Seems like the clear one yet charging 2tb gives a 22c untag is useless that sucks bro so it's, so even though it's a special cancel it's always punishable but the other one doesn't help you in combos people just ran past orbs because they didn't turn around bro <laughs> imagine trying to zone like that that feel that looks like pain having something on the screen that only works in one direction He has fast dash and okay normals. So, it's so okay. They still were air unblockable back then. Bro, he was considered... No. He was considered a meme character? Stop, bro. He was that bad? You can't be down there with Negar, bro. You know what, bro? Maybe he deserved it, chat. Was the upcoming deserved? Was this perfectly balanced as all things should be? Damn, bro. That is sad. A few went as far as putting him in a joke tier. Even the devs writers treated him like a joke. That's crazy, bro. He got the joke riding, the joke tier. What? No. Wait, wait, wait. So you input 214 and it gave you 236? No. What is that? Nah, bro. Stop. Nobody played NBC Roa. F Roa was the only one you typically saw. It was a rare sight in general. Basically, he's a meme character. You, no one was playing him. If you was trying to win a tournament, you ain't see this character. A incredibly hard trash character. Revisions and buffs. Yeah, he needs some improvements, bro. Help, help the boy, honest. He was lit. Hey, he came out honest, Mayroa. 
There's a reason he got that name for real. <laughs> he needed that. Oh, they're no longer air unblockable. Oh, but the charge versions are air unblockable, right? Air orbs are once again air unblockable with the charge. And they can cancel into more orbs. Oh, no. Bruh. Oh, you see how the music changed? <laughs> it got real now. <laughs> and they turn around. Yep. This is the OD character now. Bruh. Enable cross ups. Now launch into OG. Oh, shoot. I didn't know that you could do that. Hey, that combo's got like. Oh, that combo's got like. Oh. Reduce recovery dramatically. Yeah, because now it's plus, right? Like, you can do that in block streams and make it plus. Like, 236A, 22A. Yeah, it's plus on block. That is OD. Bro, look at this character go. 236 got a mega buff. No longer has a blind spot. And it's also plus. Plus, you had to hit stun. You get like full screen combos. Jeez, bro. That's a character. Oh, okay. So this. Yo, look look at that character. <laughs> How you go from jump shit to the best character in the game? <laughs> this is OD. Bro, his combos are sick, though, no, bro. Oh, my goodness, bro. Come on. This is godlike. Dominate and neutral are quick to place. Air unblockable. Oh my goodness. What do you do, chat? What do you do? <laughs> this is a real character. Bro, look at the untech time. He also has like one of the best like last arcs too, apparently. Like he has like one of the best ones. Oki and... Oh my goodness. He, why did he have mix up with all of this too? It's not like it's... Uh, it's already bad enough that he got like really good neutral plus frames all over the ass, but he got mix. I thought he was on his mids. You can't be called on his mids with honest left right. Is there such thing as an honest left right? Let me know, chat. Does honest left right exist? He considered the nickname War Crime was the nickname he was giving. His <laughs> oh man. Few buffs might accidentally be way too much. Yo, hold on. Yeah, we got H row instead of C. Yo, what if we got C, bro? <laughs> Can you imagine the timeline? We got C row. Um, he thought he was he it was his turn, but it wasn't his turn because it's plus twenty seven. Plus twenty seven. Is, Is that for your turn? <laughs> God, I wish it was my turn against Zero. <laughs> it's never your turn. <laughs> wow, what a character. So there you have it. There is the war crime. Honest, mid Michael, Roa. So this character is obviously very strong inside Melty Blood, which is getting current code right now. Of course, uh, being one of the best characters in the game along with like Hime. Uh, F he and stuff like that. I did not know he came out that bad though. That was very interesting. Just going through the history of the character and seeing how a few changes to the character actually made him one of the best characters in the game. Simply just changing a few things like making his DP actually air unblockable, actually giving him the ability for his orbs to actually go the opposite direction and giving him a few more plus frames on top of the things that he had and made him into a really strong character. Oh, and of course, being able to put multiple orbs out in one sequence like that definitely made him very, very strong. And then they pull out the corner for some reason. Like, geez, that's, that's kind of crazy. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, definitely in the chat as well. Let me know what you guys think in the chat. And of course, for the YouTubes, how you guys feel about Roa overall? Uh, do you think the uh, changes were definitely needed? Like from like where he was before? Or uh, do you think that he got a little overtuned? I know just... People say like this character like sort of breaks the game with like how much you could do. I don't know, man. It, it just sounds crazy that like, you know, just a few changes and a character was that close to being at like who would have thought, right? When you when we think about fighting game characters, everybody's always saying like they need this, this, and this, and this, and this. But sometimes it's just the smallest little tune can change a character from being like really bad to like, oh my goodness, this character breaks the game. So definitely want to know how you guys feel about this. Like I said, this is of course going to be an ongoing series where we look at other characters and we will see 
exactly how they are. So as always, like any data say, drop me a like, I greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, follow me on my socials. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications so your next video goes live. As always, my name is Daikin, and I'll see you next time. Signing out.